Hi, my name is Holly Vincent, and today I'll be talking about the problems of phones in the classroom. So a little timeline of devices. I was in high school in the early 2000s, and at that point, the teachers would say, no pagers in class. I started teaching around 2006, and I had it in my syllabus, no Walkmans, because those CD players were so distracting. Um, as technology progressed by 2012, students were getting really good at T9 texting, so we had a no texting rule. Fast forward to the last couple of years, um, I'm now contending with Snapchatting, Instagramming, live streaming, texting, emailing, FaceTiming, shopping, TikToking, tweeting, cheating, and web surfing. In my presentation, I have three sections. I'm going to look a little bit further at the problem and then to see what research has to say about it and what teachers, students, and parents have to say. And then lastly, one step, a few steps we can take to solve this problem. So first, the issue. I once asked a former student of mine who forgot to bring her to school how her day was going, and she responded, I feel like I'm missing an arm I didn't even know I had. There's some concerning stats. 45% of teens report being on their phone on an almost constant basis. 35% of teens admit they've used a phone to cheat, while 92 say that they text during class. Um, some studies have showed and compared phone addiction to the same addiction drug users have. Other studies have shown that the mere presence of being near your phone can drain your brain energy and power. Um, the phone brings in multiple distractions to the classroom. Allison Klein writes, sexting, cyberbullying, Googling test answers, taking a picture of a quiz, and sending it to friends who have the same class later in the day, paying more attention to Instagram notifications than biology class. Smart phones have transformed the way we communicate, but there's no question they can be a major headache for teachers and administrators. So, what does the research say? In a study where students were given the option to earn extra credit if they kept their phone off the entire semester, the group that opted into that um, control group scored higher on their overall grades. Common Sense Media reports that 78% of teens check their devices at least hourly, while 72% feel the need to immediately respond to a text message or other notifications. Um, another study found that Multitasking on a phone or with screens in between screens is, can in, impair the ability to learn and work efficiently. A principal of a school that was interviewed by CNBC, um, his school had compensated over 200 phones. They were finally starting to see results of their band. In my literature review, I looked at a few different examples. There was a study done in London where 91 schools completed a participated in a complete phone ban, and by the end of the year, test scores had gone up over 6%. Um, in a college study, there was a group that was allowed to take notes only with pen and paper, while another group was allowed to multitask on their phone and computer. And they found that the group where they did not have any devices scored much higher on their tests as well. Um, researchers also found that about 30% of accuracy on a quiz is dropped if students are allowed to text and be on their device during class. So what do parents, teachers, and students have to say? Um, in one report, 82% of parents reported they don't want their child to have their phone on campus and they want schools to enforce a stricter policy. Um, Gow et al. surveyed over 245 teachers and 96 reported that phones were indeed distracting in the classroom. And even students, um, the students that participated in that extra credit class that I mentioned earlier, the teacher had them write essays about their experience at the end of the semester. And they wrote things that described the relief and peacefulness and sense of freedom that they didn't have to constantly look at their phone. Other uh, students in another study um, said that teachers need to enforce the rules and even suggested things like blocking Wi-Fi to help them not go to their device. So what's my solution for all this? My solution is 100% phone ban. So it would need to take a few steps. The first step would be to educate students and parents of the harms and the negative effects of the phones in the classroom. So having an info night where maybe the counselor shows social dilemma or sending home articles, but letting students and parents see why we're coming to this conclusion. Um, step two would be to set a really clear plan 
that would include how and when the, ba the ban would start while still helping parents rest at ease if their students would be able to get into communication with them, their phones on campus. Um, and then the most important step is to fully enforce the policy. So the research has shown that many schools have a phone policy, but if it's not strictly enforced, it's not going to be effective. Um, some districts aren't willing to tackle this. So this is my contingent proposal. If school districts are worried about legal issues, such as compensating the phone, phone being lost, stolen, broken. Um, there were a few other tips in the research literature of how to reduce the phones in class. One was positive reinforcement, things such as extra credit for leaving the phone turned off. Another popular app is called Pocket Points, where students actually earn points where they can get gift cards for the minutes they have their phone powered off in class. Um, Kay et al. suggested just educating students on the harm of misusing technology and helping them be mindful of what it could be doing to them and their education. And then lastly, another positive approach is a class contract where the teacher spends a few days with the students um, brainstorming, negotiating, coming up with clear expectations and consequences for what the phone should look like within their classroom. So just to review, the problem, phones are hurting our students academically. Research has shown that removing phones improves grades. 96% of teachers are saying these are distracting in the classroom. 82% of parents prefer their child not to be on their phone in class. Um, even students are expressing their need for enforced guidelines. So my action plan is 100% phone ban. Um, as I mentioned earlier, phone addiction has been compared to drug use. Um, from the book, The Color Master Stories, Amy Bender writes, and sure, fine, I do check my phone about every two minutes, but so do a lot of people, and it's better than smoking. That's what I say. It's the new lung safe cigarette. So with this knowledge that we have, we have these devices in our teenagers' hands in our classroom. They're being distracted, their grades are suffering, they're not looking up, they're missing out on social interactions and important content. Um, the studies have shown that just that mere presence of the phone can drain brain power. The teachers, adults, administrators, we are the gatekeepers of what we allow in our room and it's our job to provide the most engaging environment, an environment where students can be successful. So with all these negative effects and all the things research is showing, my one question that remains is, what are we waiting for?